Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay Lands of Lore, The Throne of Chaos. Now, when last we left off, we completely explored the Northland Forest area, including getting the Lantern from the Thug's Cave, and going to the Drauracle's Cave, or rather, not going in there, because the entrance was sealed off. The only place left to go is the Marina, where we need to go and get a uh, passage to the Southlands to go and get the Ruby of Truth from Roland's estate. Before we leave this area, something of note, the various areas in the game actually have uh, very unique enemies. The uh, thugs that we fought around the uh, thugs cave, I do believe that is the only place in the whole game that that enemy appears, and the boar I think only appears in the Northland Forest as well. If I um, get to an enemy and remember that this is the only appearance that they make, I'll be sure to uh, point that out. There are a few I distinctly remember you only ever encounter in one area. Some you only encounter once. So, with that, let us head to the marina and book passage. It looks pretty good so far. This must be the marina. Let us go in. Excuse me, I need to book passage to the Southland. Where's your money? I have a writ from the king. Well, where is it? Well, she seems like a pretty reasonable person. Let's uh, have a look around and see if there's anything we can purchase. Is this net for sale? Not to you. Okay, she seems like a less reasonable person now. Didn't your mother teach you any manners? I'm just looking around. Is that so bad? I suppose you'll want to steer the boat too. No, I, I just want passage on it. That's a nice trophy you've got there, by the way. That's the last cretin who bothered me. Oh. Do you have anything particular to say? Watch it. No, it would seem like she uh, really just wants to get down to business here. So, let's hand her the writ. Well then, hurry and get on the boat. All right, we'll go. Note that she took the writ from us. I'm quite confident we'll never need that again. Oh yeah, we need to get back, don't we? Oh dear. Welcome to the Southland Forest. One of the instances in the game where a uh, music for the uh, area you're in actually is used in other places. Let's save and let's go immediately back to the marina. This is a much nicer marina. What an attractive marina. Let us go in. Hello. Did you forget something on the boat? Are you Timothy by chance? I am Patricia. I believe the Timothy you seek is probably down at the inn. Patricia here is a thumgog. Thumgogs have four arms, and uh, one Thumgog that we're going to meet later is going to be particularly skilled at magic. But this is not that Thumgog. Are you from Gladstone? My brother Bacata studies with Dawn there. That indeed is the Thumgog that we shall meet later that is skilled with magic. He studies with Dawn, and Dawn is pretty apt with magic herself. Captain Felka likes to catch his own breakfast sometimes. Oh, that's interesting. Are there whales in these waters? Hmm. She doesn't answer that. We hung three orcs with that rope last week. There is your hint that there are orcs in this area. And orcs are a nasty threat at this point in the game. Who has time to sit down these days? Uh, not us, clearly. We're off on a quest. I am charting the Dark Army's movements. They are very close, you know. That's another hint that orcs might be nearby. I am charting the Dark Army's movements. They are very close, you know. All right, let's just uh, leave. We've done all we can here, because we wouldn't even have the money to leave even if we wanted to. Now, the uh, inn is actually not far away, if memory serves. You can't click on the uh, piles of mud here. The inn, I believe, is, if we go this way, right here. Aha, this is the Grey Eagle. It's quite a nice inn. Let us go in and see if we can find Timothy, shall we? This looks cozy. It is cozy. Now, we can click on many things in this area, and we shall. I'd hate to have this fellow's wax bill. That's quite a lot of uh, candles that are being used there. This is hotter than Victor's forge. Let's forge a weapon there. Uh, no, let's not. My wife won't let me keep those in the house. Oh, fair enough. I hope those aren't barber's tools. No, no, they aren't. Let's see if we can uh, read any of this. What a huge napkin. That is not a napkin, Kieran. Hmm. Lost dogs and cheap handymen. None of these are going to be any use to us. Let's start asking people who Timothy is. Oh, what's this? Is this what you get to eat for two crowns? Oh. 
What do you mean, get all you, all you get to eat for two crowns? Are you Timothy of Gladstone? No, I'm Tyrus, but you're close. What about this sign? All you can eat for two crowns. Ah! That is, uh, hopefully not all you can eat for two crowns. What about this here? This inn seems well supplied. It is well supplied. Doesn't seem to have any customers, though. So, uh, are you Timothy? Please, don't bother my customers. All two of them. What about in here? Actually, in here is pretty important. So you want to click here. This room is occupied. Are you by chance Timothy of Gladstone? No, I am Philip. Timothy is the yellow-haired fellow over by the fire there. Thank you. I'm on an important mission for King Richard. Well, you're a brave young patriot, Sonny. Take this magnet stone to guide you on your journeys. Long live King Richard. That is the compass. If you don't click on him in that room, you don't get the compass as far as I know. Also, he's pretty be like believing of you, isn't he? Oh, I'm definitely on an important mission. Oh yeah, sure, just take my things. I mean, what if we just lied? Oh sure, we're on an important mission for King Richard. Actually, we're working for the Dark Army. Long live King Richard, take this compass. In fact, have all my gold while you're at it. I think we can click on it again, can't we? Yep. Back so soon? Sorry to disturb you. Uh, that's quite all right. I didn't actually know there'd be a different uh, piece of dialogue by uh, clicking there. Right. Timothy, as we've been uh, pointed out, is the yellow-haired fellow by the fire. If you take Timothy with you, he counts as a second person that you can control, which means you have a second sele uh, selection of uh, fighting and magic capabilities. And he comes with equipment. The downside is, if we hold on to him uh, all the way to getting back to Gladstone, it's going to cost us more to get back. But I've always thought that it's worth it to take Timothy along, if only because an extra person to cast spells and an extra sword arm to swing is always good. Hello, Timothy. Are you by chance Timothy of Gladstone? Yes, I am Timothy. And who might you be? I am Kieran. King Richard has sent me to retrieve the Ruby of Truth from Sir Roland. One of the Dark Army spies has a mask or something. She's become a shape changer and apparently threatens the kingdom. Scotia, she is the most evil woman alive. I heard that she had hired the excavators, but I never dreamed she'd actually find the mask. Well then, Kieran, let's go now. I'll get my things together and meet you outside. Another thing to note is that uh, Timothy has the pointed ears of an elf. Yet, as far as I know, he is the only person in the game to actually have pointed ears like an elf. The game never acknowledges that elves actually exist in the setting. So, um, uh, who knows? Maybe just a quirk of character design. There is nothing more we can do here. Let us leave. Get our compass? I am pleased to join you, sir. All I have is at your disposal. That's a good thing, because we're going to be taking all you have. Timothy here is a level 3 fighter, level 2 rogue, level 1 mage. He also has this buckler that we are going to take off him. He also has this leather jerkin that we're going to take off him that provides us with four more protection. He can uh, keep the rapier and the sandals because we have no need for either of them. Let us save, and now that we have Timothy with us, let us start exploring the uh, Southland forests more thoroughly. We have been warned that there are orcs in the area. Not directly, but subtly. Also down here, as I recall, is that enemy. We're going to have to deal with that enemy. Fortunately, it's uh, going to wait for us to uh, get here. So let us go and fight it. Also, let's... Uh... No, there's nothing in there. Oh, okay, you're right here. We're going to have to use our spells. We are not very uh, spell-orientated right now. We're just going to have to fight it the old-fashioned way and win. Now, the swarm is always appreciated. Always appreciated. Now, if memory serves, we want to keep exploring in this area. There is something else down. Oh, another one! Ah! I thought there might be something else. Turns out, nope, just another one of these giant lizards. We can take it on, though. It's, uh, not that difficult. Nothing else? You can also note that we are gaining quite a few levels. Or bits of levels, rather. We're uh, slowly getting there. Let us rest. 
Excellent. Now that there's two of us, we have, uh, twice the fighting power. Twice the oomph. There's only one way we can go now, really, so, uh, let's save and move on. Because, uh, it's going to get dangerous pretty soon. Let's, uh, there's a way up here we can go. Nothing there. Nothing here. But there is a rock. We'll always need those. Alright, let's move on. We can't pick up this rock at all. I like this music, actually. It's quite nice music. I like the fact that it's used multiple times. Another swarm! Anything over here? There are a few things, but... We want to head this way. There is someone very important that we need to see. And that is the actual vendor in this area. The person that lives here. Is this what smells? Maybe. This place stinks. That's the biggest muskrat I've ever seen. And he skinned it. Is he selling this stuff? We're about to find out. You can either click on the door or click on the bell. Let's click on the bell. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Come on in, I'm Buck. Here to trade, to show me what you got or what you want. <laughs> this is Buck. Buck sells a variety of uh, different uh, equipment. Most of it just things that he owns. But we only have 26 crowns, which isn't really going to do us that uh, much good. Does he want a swarm? We'll find out in a moment. I'm a natural man, you know. Never bathed a day, never been mosquito bit neither. Well, that explains the smell. Ooh. Are you eating lizard tripe? Yep, I don't usually cook it, though. Every character has a different reaction to that. Kieran, I think, is the only one that actually, uh, doesn't sound revolted. Heh, <laughs> sorry, can't spare my last pint of cider. I did not even know you could click that. So what is he selling? Hey, don't mess things up. He's selling this here. Made it myself. 20 crowns. That's salve. We don't want that. Here's a shield. I'll sell that, you know. Ten crowns? That's reasonable. We'll probably want to do that. Buy the one on the left, and I'll throw in the one on the right. Ten crowns? That's also quite reasonable. Pair of boots for, uh, ten crowns. We can't use them, but Timothy certainly can. Lastly, the bow. Would you sell that? Sure. A hundred crowns. That's not actually a bad price. Uh... You have another opportunity later in the game to buy that, uh, bow. It's at the same price, uh, if you do things a certain way. We want that bow, because that bow will, uh, be used by Kieran to level up his rogue. Will he buy swarms? I'm not really interested in buying that. He's not really interested in buying a lot of things. Will he buy salves? Want to sell? 20 crown. We actually don't want to sell anything right now, but we will buy the boots and buy the shield. I'll sell that, you know. Ten crowns? We'll be back for the bow. For now, we just can't afford it. Buy the one on the left, and I'll throw in the one on the right. Ten crowns? Well, that's handy, because if you'd just given me one of them, I'd be hopping around all adventure. We have six whole crowns to our name. Can we click on what he's eating? No, we can't. And we can't click there. Or here. You buy the bow, and I'll throw in the arrows. That's very handy. Well... I'm afraid, Buck, there is, uh, nothing more we need to, uh, talk to you about here. We will see you again in a, uh, future Lands of Lore game, and we will see you later, hopefully. I want that bow. So long. Watch out for the orcs. He's not kidding, by the way. The orcs are quite literally around the corner. Also, this now means that, uh, Timothy has a higher protection stat than we do, but we have a slightly higher might stat than he does. So... Let's go and meet those orcs, because now they are quite literally right around the corner. Here they are! The orcs! And we got a mace. Fantastic. We could sell that mace for 40 crowns. Also, if you let the orcs get uh, too close, they will... Oh, wow, there's another one of those. I totally forgot about that. If you let the orcs get uh, too far away, rather, they will fire things at you. Fortunately, these orcs are not proving to be too uh, problematic. Mainly because we are very well equipped. Now, depending on who you are, this part can be quite difficult. Oh, ow, 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 ow. 
We are being surrounded. That is not good. We're going to have to use one of our uh, healing items here to bring... Uh, there we go. To bring Kieran back. Oh, that did not work. Alright, we uh, need to rest here right now. If we don't rest... Uh-oh. Uh Whew! That was a relief. Okay. Hello, leave to bring you back. Kieran was quite surprised to be brought back there, but uh, welcome back to the land of the living, Kieran. Although I imagine it's not dead, more just unconscious, and the aloe just brings you back. I don't want to use any of the salves. In fact, to be honest, I didn't really want to use the aloe leaves. But uh, once they're unconscious, resting will not bring them back. As far as I know. And uh, I couldn't really wait to rest there. This area is actually quite small. There's uh, not a lot to actually look at. Uh, there isn't anything in any of these stumps. Besides, the aloe is not expensive. The mace that we looted there will pay for all the aloe that we need when we get back to uh, Gladstone, if we need to buy more. This is an area that you can just go to to completely circumvent meeting Buck, although why you'd want to circumvent meeting Buck, that's another question, because Buck is very useful. Also, we want to go this way. Is there anything over here that uh, I remember? Ooh! Hello! This is why you search those. Because sometimes you... Ow! Sometimes you will find useful things. We want to use our magic whenever we can. Ow! That hurt. I was busy describing that you can find things in various things in the, uh, the walls, but obviously you just wanted to hit me with that mace, didn't you? What happened? Someone has attacked. Oh dear. This is Roland's Manor. Fiends would slaughter a poor defenseless animal. Orcs, Kieran. Orcs would do this. We've not finished exploring this actual area yet. So we're just going to uh, leave for now. It's, there's actually very little left to explore. I actually didn't remember that being in the southern part of the map. I thought it was in the northern part. But there isn't much left to explore. Besides, we're not going in there. We're Hello, while well, there are orcs to kill! Ah, there's another, there's another swarm there. We'll be selling that. We will be selling that. And there's nothing there to loot. In fact, there's nothing anywhere to loot here. Except that one ginseng, which I didn't remember whatsoever. <laughs> well, that's enough orcs. Let us now go and, uh, go to Roland's Manor. Yeah, that, um... Things are going wrong. The fact that the Dark Army is so close is no coincidence. Is no coincidence whatsoever. They have come for the Ruby of Truth as well. This area is not that large. But, oh, it's called uh, Buck Skins. I always just thought it was called Bucks. So, they've come for the Ruby of Truth as well. The only question is, are we going to get there in time or not? There's only one way to find out. By the looks of it, I'd probably say no. I'd probably say no. I mean, the manor has been pretty well and truly attacked. But the only way to find out is to head in. But I will catch you next time for that, folks. For we now must clear out Roland's manor and return back to Gladstone afterwards, either with the Ruby of Truth or without. Apologies for that there, the uh, ending of this video got snippeted off during the recording process. I'm not quite sure what's determining if a few seconds, either the beginning or the end, don't come out in the end recording. I think it's the Dark Army trying to stop me from completing the game. But we shall persevere regardless, for I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.